All right, welcome or welcome back, everyone. That's where uh, got everything situated here. Got our back out a little bit further. Structure going there. Good little bit of framework. Already got the wiring in place. All that good stuff. I got a couple of our stacks of books set aside for later on today, but everything else is in our tray of, tray of tiny pieces. Got, our, like I say, the there's the books. <laughs> The window, so I don't see these in the picture, so I'm not sure where the, this ends up, but uh, it's there, and our clock, I think it turned out pretty well. Got the, oops, bring it back in for that, look at the small stuff. <laughs> uh, upside down. <laughs> but, uh, I say it looks alright to me, like I say, same with the, the bottles, I think they're going to pass muster once they're in the display. Uh, got all our, like I say, all the tiny books we spent last few, little bit of yesterday making. Uh, on the other side, I don't generally, I'm working one to two days ahead of y'all, which, which y'all see. I'm, a lot of times I'm working on it that night and I'm uploading it. It's going up, going live three or four hours later. But got some stuff going on in the real world that's going to be a bit of an issue <laughs> over the next six to eight weeks. So I'm going to try and pad that out a little bit so I may not be totally up to date on all the numbers and everything I quote to you. So bear with me. I say hopefully this will be a fairly short time frame. Uh, but uh, as of right now we are I think 21 I may pull up, pull up the screen and find out. I think 21 people away from getting the 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, we're sitting at 1979 as of recording time but that's all i got to say just sort of bear with me over the next like I say six to eight weeks hopefully things will sort of straighten back out in that time and we will uh get back into you know what i hope to be a normal more normal routine i don't foresee missing any days but i just want to let y'all know i'm going to be a little bit pushed out in the real world during that time uh i'll and like I say speaking of the 2000 subscriber Mark, any suggestions, comments, concerns, questions, you know, ideas? I've, I've had several throw them up and throw in the ideas in the comments, and uh, they've all been good. So I've, even if I don't do them for the 2K, there's a good ch chance they're going to be at some other point in the future. Um, but with all that being said, let me pull out everything for step nine, and we'll get rolling here. So right back with that. Okay, on to step nine. It's it's one of those where you are supposed to accordion these to make the book look like it's splayed open, and it's on sticker paper, I think. Or is that cut out? <laughs> you know, it's, I thought it was on. St okay, it's not a sticker. You got to cut that one out. Okay, I thought it was. It is on sticker paper, but evidently we're not supposed to use the sticker paper on this. Okay. Yeah, because it doesn't have the pop-up edges like that. So, okay, so, okay. I had a plan that I was going to use that sticker paper, so I may still just, to, I'll try it on one of them anyway. <laughs> but, use my oh, handy dandy, bring my knife around. <laughs> And that's the bad thing about that knife. Okay. <laughs> and so let's cut this. It's, which one is this one? It, it's all three of these. Do thir 12, 13, and 14 all. So I'm going to go ahead and just come out here and just get them into more manageable. Mm -hmm. All across. Yeah, I think. I'm gonna, yeah. We got the big boy scissors for this, I think. It's sort of more, they're all straight edges, so it should be <coughs> easy cuts. But I do have a plan that, to use those sticker, use the, adhe the adhesives there, so I'm gonna use it. I think, I think I, I, 
I've got an idea in my head that'll work whether the real world agrees with my head or not is always the question. Darn those laws of physics. <laughs> I always get in the way of all my ideas. And I'll see if I'd realize I'd realized I probably wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have cut this beforehand, but I thought like I thought these were stickers. <laughs> Which I don't really understand why they're not, but <laughs> cut out <coughs> scraps gathered up here maybe <laughs> okay now what is it <laughs> ah. and these are the Seven, eight, and nine are the book covers we're supposed to be using. I think. Those got it. Okay. okay, yeah, those, those are stickers. So they do pop up. Okay. <laughs> For a second there, I was gonna thought this was gonna make me cut those and glue them on. Okay, but my plan. So this one is to. This one. Hmm. Let me see. see if I can find the one. There's one that shows the actual picture of it being folded. Okay. That's, this was the one that actually shows the picture, so it's supposed to be going. This one's supposed to be going down. Get my ruler out here. This one back the other way. This one this way.
Get that sort of started. It was fairly close to those lines. <laughs> Looks like I missed. Eh. I'm gonna miss a little bit on that one. Going <laughs> backwards now. Runa. Yeah. <laughs> And my usual thrilling commentary. <laughs> I just didn't happen to have to, after I said that, I had to, had to look down and make sure I had the mic on. I know I'm bad about forgetting that nowadays. I need to get a boom mic. <laughs> okay, let's see. Up and ready to go, hopefully. <clears throat> now, question is will this get it? Here's where my plan kicks in. <laughs> Get that sticker separated. Yeah, there. But that'll stick to the. Yeah, should have started. Should have started on the second page. On the... actually, <laughs> no, it would have been the same either way. Yeah, still would have had that one stick them out. <laughs> but now that was. I'm not pretty forgot which one that one is. That's. 14, so I need 7 to be the outside of this one. And the right size. Yep, yeah, okay. So. 7 out. <coughs> I don't guess it really matters because I'm not going to be able to see the <laughs> book or anything anyway. one there so hopefully you up there oh. 
Okay. These shouldn't be sticking together and <laughs> oh. Okay. Anyway, it's good. Okay. Well not a great start. <laughs> Maybe I do need to leave the back on it. Huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's supposed to be laid out like that. So that's going to work because laid out flat with pages unfurled. So I think that'll I think that'll pass muster when it's all said and done. <laughs> okay, set that in my tray of tiny pieces. And I'll try the next one leaving the back on and see how that goes. <laughs> and I just put the wrong... They're using the same pictures in each in both those books. So I hope this is the right... I think I may have just used the wrong book. <laughs> Yep, I did. That might have been part of the problem, too. <laughs> it's just going to compound itself now, so... Did I give us extras by any chance? No. Those extra over there, but I don't think they're the same. <laughs> oh, well. We'll figure it out as we go along. <laughs> Oh, this one goes... No, it does go forward, yeah. You know, I got backwards there at some point. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think it's actually going to work with that paper on there because it's getting way too thick. Maybe looking at the picture, the next one down. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be. Let's say I think I used the wrong book binding on that, so that may be why that one turned out so funky. But, uh, let me, actually, let me try and crease these a little bit tighter. See if that helps with the 
appearance. That one just totally missed the line too. So. <laughs> Line that back up. <laughs> okay. Okay, that may have helped some. Okay, this one. I goofed up that first one <laughs> or the last one, whichever one that turned out to be. So that's it's still got that's gonna be the wrong place. <laughs> hmm. Oh well, all we can do is try. And let's say and this I say this is supposed to be that one, so hopefully it fits in this one. <laughs> we'll find out there. Yeah, definitely got it in the wrong. Okay, that was probably my problem. <laughs> I'll tighten it up and wrap it around. Like I say, these are going to be laying out like that so it's not I don't think that's a cardinal sin <laughs> the actual cover isn't going to be showing thankfully because then I say really the wrong one <laughs> I'll say that something like that is what the end res end is end, end result is going to be so that, that's it okay <clears throat> let's see what happens when I put the right right book cover on because that's the one I've, one I've got left now <laughs> Let's see, this is supposed to go forward on the first page. Increase it as I go along, see if that... Backwards. Missed. <laughs> yeah, it's walk walking back a little bit, I think. <laughs> tight. Let's find out what happens when we put it in the actual correct book binding. <laughs> okay. 
Well, it looks much better if I'm getting good. Yeah, that works. <laughs> that, that looks a whole lot better than the other two. So, getting it in the proper book binding makes a difference. Who th who'd have figured? Who'd have thunk? <laughs> yeah, but I say I think it's going to be a it's going to be a recoverable sin. But that's all for step nine. Took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. <laughs> Be right back with step 10. Okay, step 10 is basically just forming a stack of five of our the big books. And figure out which one we want on top. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be covered up by this thing. So, <laughs> But let's see. which one. I'm going to go with the old Gorilla Super Glue just for expediency here it just takes a drop on there and you know I'm, I do want to stack to the bindings all facing the same direction but otherwise not a super neat stack Stick it on there this time. <laughs> okay. A little bit further that way, I think. Maybe. Adventures of Tom. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it did It's got a new stick with that. Continue in that direction, I think. Okay, that's my basically what I got there. Hope it fits wherever it's supposed to go. <laughs> And I think it'll be alright because like I say this goes up on top of it splayed out. So run all the way across there. And, and you I'm actually said to go sideways with it, but oh well. <laughs> Just flub these all up, but I think, yeah, I think it's gonna end up being all right. Not perfect by any stretch, but I'll live with it. <laughs> okay, and that was all there was to step 10. Clear this stuff out, and we'll come back and work on step 11, which looks like it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Okay, it says on these we're supposed to make 22 scrolls, and these are, yeah, these are all sticker stickers, so it's just a matter of rolling it, finding something they won't stick to that I can roll them around fairly tightly. Let's see, is my teeniest, tiniest screwdriver long enough? Mm, don't think so. <laughs> but, let's see, one of on the next step up screwdriver that eh, may be too much <laughs> too thick see that it's 
smaller diameter slightly. I think I'm gonna go with toothpick. <laughs> one, find one that isn't broken. <laughs> yeah, we'll try toothpick on the first go. They gave us I'm supposed to make 22. Got 24 here, so they gave us a couple of spares. Let's see how things go. <laughs> Since I got spares, let me go ahead and. That there. Not on it. Yeah. I remember I got the technique down for doing this, but I don't remember what the, what, what what it was. <laughs> I was making the magic shop. Let's see. And up. Roll it up and unroll it. What? Remember? <laughs> I can't get the toothpick out of there. Okay. Well, if I could just get it started, it'll go. There it went. So once you get it rolling, it cooperates. It's just a matter of getting that first initial oh bend in. That that doesn't look half bad. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see if we can figure this out in twenty-two tries. <laughs> Scroll should be a little crooked. <laughs> Maybe not that crooked. <laughs> okay. Mm. Not loving that, but it's, it's passable. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think I had the sticker paper when I was doing it before. sticky enough to not stick to the glue or slippery enough to not stick to the glue rather not making a mess maybe I think the not making a mess is the key part let's see that might work feels like that's gonna work I get it around there to stick to more paper Nope, I couldn't. <laughs> but it gives me a good curl there. That might be. Let me get past the part that I. Hmm. I think I got it on my fingers too much to me. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I say it's yeah, it's one of the most passable ones. I think that might work. <laughs> Let's see. I 
Okay. So, let me actually let the tooth pick off a little bit so I get a little bit less stick them on it. <laughs> but still should be some residual stick them. There we go. That went nicely. <laughs> okay. Got us. Okay. That may be the trick. <laughs> Just a little slick on it. Of course, now I don't know which end was slick. <laughs> Okay, that might be a little bit too tight, but I think. <laughs> but they should be different sizes. <laughs> Okay. I think I found my technique for this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now we're cranking. <laughs> I'm going to say these wallpaper pattern scrolls aren't that thrilling. I'm looking forward to getting to the uh, more scrollish looking ones. <laughs> okay, just for... I think it might just be that I'm pulling the glue off. So let me, just for kicks, get some different sized ones. Try my little probe dealio. I think it's a I will. Eh, let's just try it plain. See if it's Okay. The lube made a difference. <laughs> or the the fact that it was wood. I think this is gonna end up being one of our spares. Yep, that was one of our spares. <laughs> Hubris, the name is Daniel. <laughs> I thought maybe the stick wasn't strong enough to 
Oh, the Dom's raisin was coming off so easily on the toothpick. But I guess it was the yeah, little residual lubricant or something on there. Which I'm gonna do a little bit, do a little extra on. Just feels like it's getting a little bit less slick, so let's slicken it back up. <laughs> and then we move on. Next one. Crooked on me. There you go. I promise next step we get to move into the actual building, so <laughs> bear with me. We're, we're getting close to doing some more exciting stuff than just playing with paper. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move over to some of the scrollier looking scrolls. <laughs> Finally got one that actually does look like an old timey magic scroll. <laughs> All the script writing on it and everything. <laughs> you know the bad thing is it's just gonna end up all stacked together on a shelf or something <laughs> won't be able to see any of these details Should mark the end that I'm not lubricating too while I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and looks like four more. Got a little wet 
won't, won't heal me, but still good. Home stretch now. <laughs> now we got. And then last one. What do y'all think? I'm feeling this one. <laughs> Two scrolls completed. <laughs> Should be twenty two of them. <laughs> Three, six, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty one, two, twenty two. All right, got them. And let's put these, gather them up, and put them in my tray of tiny pieces. <laughs> Now, that was step 11. Like I say, step 12, we get to go back into building things, so I'll be right back with some pieces to build. Okay, told you we actually get to build stuff now. <laughs> so, there's no indication to having to use glue on this, so I'm hoping they fit together rather firmly. But we're about to wrap it up in a stick or two, so I, <laughs> that's going to help. Oop, other way, I guess. Okay, that one is snug. <laughs> okay, I think cause I did it backwards, I guess. Okay, there it went. That's better. And I say, got us a box. And do that again. to wrap those to make them look like wicker baskets. So set that one aside and work on this one first. I need ah, 22 on the bottom, then 23 makes the lid. Let's see. Oh, they are weirdly perforated. Those, those were feeling like they really wanted to tear. So, those. Let's see. Okay, so I want. Should be. Picture shows that corner lining up. I missed. Let's see. I guess. Yeah, that looks about right. And actually, I want to do this one first. That took those in. This and then 
and we'll turn those up. And those down around the edges. Alright. Cool. Pretty nice effect. Not perfect on the ends there. But yeah. yeah, the picture on the in the book looks much different than the picture. <laughs> then let's see how the lid goes on. Looks like the same situation. Right there, so I can find the corner. <laughs> Crease in there now. fit exactly right but I think that sort of makes it look like a lid <laughs> and then on the side we're supposed to put 215 this guy baking powder from W. Belching. <laughs> All right, that's, yeah. I dig it. Nice wicker box. And do it all again. <laughs> Let's see. Find a better way. <laughs> See what? This just sort of line the bottom up with those corners, maybe. Pretty close. <laughs> That's nice. <coughs> and Yeah, I dig it. A little more exciting than rolling up scrolls. <laughs> more baking powder label. <clears throat> oh, I got us a couple of wicker boxes. Dig it. Okay. Goes in my tray of tiny pieces. And uh, that was step 12. Right back with step 13. Get to build another one. <laughs> Okay, step 13. Sort of the same thing, but there's no lid on this one, and it does call for the glue. So I don't know if I showed you before, but the, I'm using the Gorilla Super Glue with the brush. <laughs> I'm supposed to be... Oh, missed one. Oh. <laughs> Quick sand down the spurs. All right, so there we go. So H4... H2... Uh, 
that feels pretty snug actually so far. <laughs> First one was. You can tell by the squeak. <laughs> yeah. The rest of them going like this. I'm not going to worry about the glue because that's going to hold itself together. <laughs> Two. Oh yeah. This don't need no glue. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. I'm not going to worry about the glue. Okay. <laughs> same, that. same basic thing, just it's open. I'm, I'm thinking that might be where our scrolls end up living. <laughs> but still wrap it with uh, 219. Fix it. Like I had practiced that or something, and that went right together. <laughs> and that's all there was to step 13. It doesn't even get a label on it. So, right back with 14. Okay, another little box, but I'm not going to get out of gluing on this one because it's uh, just stacking these four together, but I am going to be able to use my the corner clamp that I made, corner jig, or rather, that I made for uh, the, uh, is this on the Cyberpunk that I built this one? I think so. But basically, you just should be able to stack these guys in there and one at a time. And it's not going to be a perfect 90 degrees because I built it, but it's going to be pretty tight. But start with the bottom and work our way up. Sticking with the old Gorilla Super Glue. Dab on there. Put you in a little pressure. And rinse and repeat. And then the dab on there. Into the corner and pressure. Somehow this red and white thing disappeared from my side. It took me like five minutes to find the thing. <laughs> now, another little more wrapping. This one does get a lid. It's, uh, so two, these two. Yeah. Everything's this part's the same. And those up the sides. Close it all in. 
and grab the lid. That was not even close. <laughs> there we go. That was as good as it's going to get anyway. <laughs> Seems like this one's a little bit off. a label as well it gets 216 smaller label <laughs> but it's the same baking powder label all right there now that's step 14 I think I got time to do two more steps that's that gives us to get to actually install some stuff on the uh, structure in step 16 so I'm gonna do step 15 and 16 tonight and we'll be so I'll be right back with 15 okay get to build us a bookshelf now it doesn't say anything about glue on this part <laughs> so hopefully yeah, that doesn't feel like it needs glue. <laughs> A little. Oops. <laughs> Get my back in here. <laughs> oh. Sad, excellent. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, a little more here. Okay. It was flat on that top. All right. And we're supposed to. How do I lose? I mean, it's like, oh, there it is. <laughs> I, I literally set something down and can't find it again. <laughs> and the books go on the top. I think I'm going to put a history of magic on the top. It goes, you just go on the shelf. The binding's out like so. Alright, so let's the old gorilla super glue out again uh, well there do wanna actually do want these stacked fairly neatly so let's get my jig out again end of the shelf set up now <laughs> cool that was step 15 that's there our tray a tray of tiny pieces is getting a little full <laughs> especially mostly scrolls but wicker boxes take up some space too <laughs> and so be right back with step 16 
Okay, so get to do a few actual decorations onto our building and get to go back and get that uh, step seven where I'm making these uh, pennants. But uh, I'm going to do the mount these little guys first. Y'all may not be able to see it, but yeah, there you go. There you go. It's, you, there's, they've scored the outline of the clock and the signs and everything we're supposed to be putting on so, so we know exactly the right place to put them in. You know, it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm going to stick with the super glue for this step as well. It seems to be working pretty good for me. And I, you know, like I say, the instant satisfaction is nice too. <laughs> Just put me a little layer on there. And line it up with the outline. Both sides. And pressure. Okay. And then this goes in here. Take much. Mm -hmm. Pressure there. Okay, where's the axe go? I don't. <laughs> axe goes. Oh, there's no mark for the axe. <laughs> it goes on the back wall. I guess I'm supposed to center it below our little. Moonbeam DVO. That's disappointing, I think. Something like there. What do y'all think? That looks pretty close to me. Okay, for this one I'll put the glue on the X. <laughs> Just on the head here. Little Maybe a little excess, but mm -hmm. okay. Pressure oh, and moved. There we go. I think I ended up in pretty much the right spot. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, yeah, it looks pretty straight. Okay, then we get to mount our magic sign right there. I think it's going to stick. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't feel super... Yeah, I think that'll stay in there. I may have to move my light a little bit from there. That seems like it's going to be a little bit overpowering. <laughs> but then we're back to... I got my note here. That I got to go back to step seven. I need to get my little doodads out of this. Grab my back here. Just need three of them. And I don't know if a battery's gonna make it or not. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Looks pretty straightforward. Get all this guy off. Of course, I do need those. But <laughs> around it looks like it's supposed to be like that I'm gonna come in I'll glue it do they have yeah the black one does go on this one I'm gonna go back I'll put some glue underneath the, the top there I like say everybody who didn't play that that is absolutely a Skyrim symbol <laughs> I don't re I remember because I looked at it on the loading screen way too many times. That is just that one. Just again. There it goes. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, looks like I need to pull you up anyway to get this go on behind you. actually turned red yet so I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> put my glue drop a glue in there and hope I don't run out of time because <laughs> usually once it turns red it just it's pretty much I'm done <laughs> should in the lower one first I think I can still get in there for this just a little you back over the top. Alright. And that concludes step 16. Got our few of the decorations up. Business picks up tomorrow. When we're, you know, it's going to be much more actual building and doing I think more fun stuff, not just... Oh, what is it? I gotta put a rug down. I forgot about that. <laughs> Got this too. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Now I'm done. <laughs> but, uh, I say, we get to actually build some shelves and furniture and stuff tomorrow, so that'll be, I think, more entertaining than watching me roll up scrolls. But, uh, Anyway, folks, it's it's been this is a fun one. Um, I don't I didn't remember them these cute bees being this simple. So you know it's complex but simple, easy easy build so far. I'm digging it. Uh, I think this is gonna be end up being a really good looking set. But anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share, do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.